The rebellion was in trouble. Ravens were scouting for the secret rebel base. They needed a game changer. Pieces of the Sky Ripper had surfaced. Renata knew that using it could go catastrophically wrong, but he was sure he could figure out how to use it safely. Also, a temple had risen out of empty desert. The Emperor had brought the Sky Ripper pieces up out of ancient burial by his obscene rituals. Could this be where the Iblis Stone was hidden? Someone better get it before he does, thought Renato. On the other hand, his old friend Lapino needed rescuing. Lapino was no game changer, but could Renato really leave an old friend to the Ravens? Okay. So, we've done that one. But we haven't done that one. So let's build the Sky Every Ripper. Child knew about the Sky Ripper. The Transcendent Emperor had buried its pieces deep. And then, this Emperor's horrific sacrifices had brought it back to the surface. Renato wasn't exactly sure how to use the legendary weapon. But surely, there must be some way to do it without provoking another catastrophe. Had he, somehow, summoned the long-lost components of the legendary weapon out of the deep places of the Earth? It was more than Renato could fathom. But if he could find a legendary weapon, he would use it. All right. As he set foot on the island, Renardo could not help but feel a tinge of guilt. He'd left Lapino behind. He hoped the Mad Rabbit had somehow escaped the Ravens. He hoped they hadn't eaten him. If they had, he hoped they hadn't eaten him alive. Why had he chosen the Sky Ripper? Renardo never made plans that required constant vigilance. He was a hero. He didn't think too much. He just went with his gut and hoped it all worked out. The Sky Ripper was a long shot. He'd have to devote himself to it. No side journeys, no rescuing old friends. That was against his nature. Could he stick with it? Of course. I need more materials, thought Renato. built this castle did they even know what monstrous weapon lay hidden within their walls the sky ripper could destroy anything it touched or so the legend said as the transcendent emperor had fought the lost gods thousands and thousands had died but renato had been through wars the only merciful war was a short one let's learn something well, he always wanted to do that. <laughs> That's lovely. Hey, lucky that we got the right sword.
can go this way. Gogglers, and it freaked him out to cut them. I want to cut all of them. It's really cool. Agree to disagree, said Ronaldo. No. It was probably meant to keep people away from something good. Treasure. Alter. Run faster. I get that one first. There it is. There it was. Sky Ripper's armature. The stuff that dreams are made of. Engineers' dreams, anyway. The device was intricate. No one alive had the skill to make a thing like it. How is it part of a weapon at all? He'd have to ask a scientist. But first, he'd get the second piece. Sky Ripper had a heart. A core that had come to rest in the next island. Well, there was another island he could reach. Zenobia had just invaded it with her father's raven battalions. She must be encamped there still. But fighting Zenobia now, that made no sense at all. He'd already sacrificed one friend to get this armature, was it? He didn't need to hurry to face her. She would find him. Awesome. It was a no-brainer. He'd sacrificed his old friend Lapino to get the armature. And the armature was useless by itself. Only a series of coils and wheels. War demanded sacrifices, and he would make more before the end. He would have to choose the greatest good, no matter how much it cost him. Zenobia. Well, he would see her sooner or later, across a battlefield or a sword's point before all this was over. He was sure of that. The power was in the core. Obviously, he had to get the core. I think Zenobia looks a lot like Ronaldo. Maybe they should get together. Perhaps that is one possible ending. Doubt sunk in before he was even out of sight of the Farfarer. Why had he chosen the Sky River? It was the sort of path he'd always avoided. The path of responsibility. 
of seriousness. Had he grown up? He didn't feel grown up. He'd made this decision from his gut, like he always did. Somehow, he'd impulsively decided to stop being impulsive. Did that make any sense? Exactly, it makes perfect sense. And this thing is floating and following me. This was a roundabout way of getting there. Very roundabout. But I will see you next time I am the Fluffy Puffin. So long.